Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the compound assignment operator. The compound assignment operator that allows you to modify a variable's current value by performing an operation on it. It is essentially equivalent to assigning the result of the operation to the variable. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And there are four assignment operators that we're going to be looking at, four compound assignment operators we're looking at, I should say. And the first one is plus equals, second one is minus equals, third one is divide equals, and the fourth one is times equals. So, what these do, so let's create a variable first. So, int i equals 5 and if we put i plus equals 10 this is the equivalent to saying that i equals itself plus 10 hence it will now be 15 so if we just do stdc out and we're gonna put I run this and we've got bill succeeded and it is 15. So let's just comment this out a second. We'll likely put this right at the end here. The minus equals, so we're going to do I minus equals 20 is the equivalent to I equals itself minus 20. Now you can write that there, but this is just a shortened version of it, so I will now be minus 15. I think you see I think you should be seeing a pattern here by now. So we'll put i divide equals by 2. And we'll do by 5. So this here integer be a lot easier to see what is happening. This is the equivalent to i equals i, aka itself, divide by 5. Now if we run it we'll get one, comment this out and the final one is equivalent is i equals, I mean times equals 5 that is the equivalent of i equals itself times by 5, so it will be 25 so yeah, that is the compound assignment operator. They are really useful. They allow you to shorten code. And when you're writing a lot of code, anything that helps you shorten it is is great. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next tutorial, we're gonna look at increment and decrement operators. And thank you for watching.